Hello Facebook Ads people, I'm Konstantinos and today we're going to go in some live ad accounts and we're going to optimize together campaigns. I did a lot of videos on my course about optimization, Loom videos and stuff and I realized that I haven't done a video for my YouTube channel for a long period of time and uh, because not everybody can uh, afford uh, actually the course, I'm doing a video here to show you. But uh, if you want to go and deep dive in SAUD uh, optimization, you have to check my course and uh, let's go straight away to my PC. Let's start optimization on some uh, campaigns so that you can see the different cases. Hi guys, I would like to interrupt this video in order to talk to you about my Facebook ads course. It took me six months of video editing everything and three months of video shooting. And because of that, I have created the best Facebook ad course in the world. Inside, you're going to find super advanced information, but information also for beginners. It takes you by the hand in order to teach you how to do Facebook ads from the beginner level to super advanced level. It has inside Loom videos from cost caps, speed caps, Loom videos from CBO, ASC optimization. It has chosen five sessions, inner circle sessions, and it has a lot of theory with whiteboard, also strategies that are working all of these years, things that I have developed developed, things that I know that they're working because I have spent millions and millions on the platform. Currently, I'm spending between 5 and 10 million every month, sometimes it's even more, across 30 accounts and I have access to many, many more. So I know what is currently working and all the latest trends and this is what I'm doing inside the course. I'm showing you live ad accounts with real spend and what is working right now. And if you want, you can click the link below, you can go and you can check some videos that I have open free for you so that you can check if you like the course or not and decide if you want to buy it or not. I will see you there. So let's start from this account. In this account we need two ROAS plus. Uh, we have this problematic campaign over here. Let's see inside what we have. If we come here we're going to see that we are seeing a dominant ad and another ad which is really close to the dominant ad. So it's very important for us to uh, try to preserve the dominant ad, especially if our dominant ad is giving us the results that we want. So there are several things that you can do here. I, first of all, we are seeing those two that they have to be closed. There is no question asked. Now, the question is this. Are we leaving the 200 over here in order for us to see if it's going to be able to absorb this one? So this one, what did it spend yesterday? This one yesterday has spent 136. Okay, so by spending 136, we have two options. Uh, but we can see that not profitably. Let's see what happened before that. Before that, this wasn't a leading ad and we had another ad which was leading ad uh, with bad results and this one became leading ad after. So what are we going to do here based on that is, in my opinion, we're going to lower to 100 just to control it a little bit because it became leading ad in the last uh, two days. Of course, it's giving us profitability, but still we want to maintain the campaign and make it actually work. The other thing that someone could say is that I'm going to leave it like this on 200 because on my average results over here, I'm profitable, which is also acceptable. As long as you're justifying what you're saying for the optimization, I'm totally fine with it. Let's see another campaign. Okay, another campaign in the same ad account. In this campaign now, we can see that we have a dominant ad with 1.63, but we have two others that they are not having a small amount of spend. Remember, I don't care about the leftover budget over here and what kind of results it has with the leftover budget. I care for the results if it's taking budget. These two are taking budget, so there's a safe bet over here to close this one and just see what's going to happen. Now, it's up to you if you want to go with uh, these uh, two, for example, with 200 or with 100. Because there are two and not only one, I would go with 200 and see what is going to happen with those. Maybe they're going to battle with each other. Okay, let's see also in this account. In this account, we, uh, we're trying to be uh, above uh, 2.5. Uh, this is why I will try to improve these last two campaigns. Uh, because they, they are just new and they started now. You can see here that this one is already closed with 2.79 and we have another one with 1.29. It has to be closed and focus on the rest. Uh, because of the fact that this campaign doesn't have a very big budget, it's actually spending uh, 200 per day and we are having 10 ads over here. Our average cost per purchase is on 56. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close also this one just to liberate more budget in order for me to find more winners. Okay, let's see also in the next campaign over here what we have. Um, we do have this one 
and uh, as you can see we're having a dominant ad over here this is the second day of the ads uh, this dominant ad I'm going to remove it and uh, I'm going to remove this is aggressive by the way okay you can do nothing over here you can come in this campaign and say with 2.9 I'm fine I don't want to touch it more so I'm going to be really oh no sorry not this one by the way if you do something like this and you close it and you open it they are not it's not hurting the campaign what am I going to do is I'm going to close also this one that has zero sales and I'm gonna focus all of my budget to those okay I hope that this makes uh, sense this is aggressive optimization the the mild approach over here it would have been to say okay good average results whatever it's having it's good I'm going to leave it as it is okay so this is another approach another campaign what are we having here? We're having 2.89 and we see 800 and 500 and 400 over here. So over here we need to be above 2 in this specific situation. First of all, we're going to clear this one just because, okay? It's just a small. But what are we doing with this one? Two approaches again. Approach number one says, as long as this one is correct and it's fine, we don't care about this because it's giving us the balance that we want. I'm okay with this option. And uh, especially in other accounts that uh, they're not so good and we are afraid of them, maybe we should take this approach. Another approach over here would say that I have my leading ad over here and I have another and another and another, which are except from this one, which is not, which are taking budget. So even if I close this one, let's see what is spending yesterday, by the way. This one spending only 36 yesterday. I was going to be able to absorb it along those, okay? The other approach still would say, why would I touch it? It's fine spending only 36 and my average results are good, I'm happy. So another approach would say, I have enough and my leading ad is good. But what we need to look on these specific situations is this. If we check over here yesterday, we can see that our leading ad is 156. We have on, the, on this ad 36 and we have to see if the other ad, the second one, is actually trying to overrule our leading ad. Very important. So in this situation, what am I going to do personally is that I'm going to leave it because it's not going to um, affect my leading ad and it's not trying to become a leading ad. If I was going to say behavior from this one that is taking budget, trying to become the leading ad, uh, and it's going to hurt my leading ad, which is profitable, then I was going to see uh, the possibility of closing it. Now, another approach could also say that maybe we should close it now so that we're not going to be, uh, so that we're not going to see a problem later. Okay, so I'm going to close it because I have other ads that I can absorb the 36 at log along with my uh, leading ad over here. I think that all of this um, makes sense. If I had only one leading ad and another one with small spend like this one, I wouldn't consider closing this so easily unless if I would see it being really aggressive trying to become the leading ad. Okay, and I'm going to close with this one. I can do this all day long with another campaign, another campaign, another campaign. Again, if you want to go deep dive into optimization and to different uh, situations and all of that, we can discuss all day long for different cases and different ways of optimizing and stuff. I have so many Loom videos on the course. You can go and uh, you can uh, watch there. I even included one in the free part of the course so that you can be able to see a Loom video of optimization, how I'm doing it every day. Basically, I'm taking you every day to my optimization when I was doing optimization day by day or whatever. Over here, what do we see? We see two ROAS. So we start feeling threatened a little bit. Also, this is a bigger campaign on a daily budget, which means that we have room to play. Now, it doesn't mean that necessarily the first thing that we have to do is to lower the budget just to uh, feel secure and stuff. No, we just have to see normally and treat it in the same way that we would treat it uh, if it was uh, if it was a campaign of 200 over here, okay. So we see our leading ad is on 2.06, which is good because it's not two, it's 2.06, which means that the tendency is for this to go a little bit higher. 2.3 on the other one, and we have then this one, which is a troublemaker, and this one, which is a very small spend. So all of these, as you can see, there are several ads inside because. Uh, in this specific situation, they were adding creatives inside, which I disagree with. I believe that you should do maximum 
10 to 20, if you have very big budgets, you can do up to 20. But still, I would disagree with 60 ads. They're not served well. We have to do other campaigns now with all the other ads which are left over here, but this is another discussion. Over here, what we're going to see is that we have 2.06, 2.3, 0.96. Big, big, big question, because most of the times people are all about, let me touch. I know that initially when you will start seeing optimization in my videos, you are going to feel like, I want to play, I want to do optimization and stuff, which is something normal. I see it also in my students. But here, should you touch this campaign? The question is no. If we see the results over here yesterday from this one, First of all, it has two. It has 81. We can see that our dominant data is taking uh, 400 over here. Okay, it doesn't matter this result. We care about the results on the last seven days. So I don't believe that this is a threat. 80 is just a 10% uh, of that. I don't believe it's a threat for the ad account. It is not trying to become a leading ad as we explained on the other. Uh, so in this specific situation, I wouldn't touch it. And uh, to be honest with you, I think that this campaign is going to do better because the tendency over here is to do better. Now, if my leading ad was 1.95, 1.90, would I touch it? Yes, because maybe this small percentage over here, it was going to make it better. But again, it was going to be risky because the liberated budget, even the 80, most likely in a very big percentage was going to end up in the leading ad. That means that if it was going to end up in the leading ad, maybe it was going to make 1.9, 1.8, for example, because the leading ad cannot scale and it's uh, actually having worse rows if it's going to be scaled. On the other hand, there would be other ads that they could have taken the budget and absorb it, and maybe it was going to improve the results. Whenever you're doing changes in a campaign, you're taking a risk. Most of the times I'm doing changes in the campaign if I don't have another option and I have to intervene because it's do or die, okay? Here, we have a situation that it's profitable. Still, it's two rows plus, so I'm not going to touch it, but I'm going to monitor it. Now, if you're bored of monitoring it and stuff, touch it, but just keep in mind that this is your job to watch daily and optimize daily your campaigns. I will see you for the closing of the video. Don't forget, the cases are many. It's different from ad account to ad account. Uh, it's different from different numbers to different numbers, from seasonality, what we do on Black Friday. Uh, all of these uh, are things that I cannot just uh, put in uh, YouTube. There is the course for that with many, many, many Loom videos where I'm explaining all the optimization and stuff. So if you want to deep dive to it, go to the course. Don't forget, guys, that if you want to learn more about Facebook ads, you can check, of course, my course where everything is there from theory, whiteboard videos, Loom videos explaining everything, big live ad accounts currently amounting between 5 and 10 million on uh, spend across 30 accounts. You're going to learn from these accounts in the course. There are a lot of people that they have completed it. They really love it. And I would love if you go and check the link in the description and check the course, see if you like it or not. I have also a free version so that you can take a look and see if something uh, if this is something that it's a good fit for you. Also, I do have my mentorship programs. Uh, you can check uh, the link below and you can see if you want to work with me one on one. Below, you can see all the people that they have completed it and what they believe about it. In any case, don't forget that you have to be creative and you have to be consistent.